Okay, besides being, you know, my hand getting a little tired, I'm at least going to track this first bit, this first half, because I just had a little breakthrough with the amp. After playing that part, and you'll, you'll have heard it, you know, on your side, listening in, after playing that part, I listened to it back, and there was something annoying to my ears going on in this higher part of the uh, chord register, so it's like... And it was sounding um, too not full enough and annoying. And my playing is not razor sharp precision. And it really shows up on stuff like this. It's like a really good guitar player would have that so right, like Mark would play that perfectly. Um, so what I decided to do was to not emphasize the high strings. Every once in a while, like strike some, but not emphasize it as I was before. Before I was kind of going, not quite that dramatically, but like hitting the bass notes, then the treble side uh, to try to create that doom doom da 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 da. I mean, it's, it's a good idea, and, in theory, but here it was beginning to sound irritating, and if it's not executed perfectly, it sounds uh, ragtag, you know, and I don't want that necessarily. I don't want it to sound like overly produced or like super, you know, super duper, but I don't want it to sound, you know, ragtag. Okay, so found a weird thing. I accidentally dropped down into the bridge pickup again. And I had turned the amp down a little bit because it was a little hot in my ears. And I found this kind of magic tone spot where I don't play as much on the high things. And I'm getting sort of the plunk that I was getting from the intro. Now, ordinarily, I would be in the middle pickup here. And I think K Mays uh, would agree with me. And I, that's what I was trying to make it work is this part was with the middle pickup. And ordinarily, that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'll do live. But I found that if I turn this down to four kill both bass and treble, I was getting like a really kind of magic tone. It's cleaner, which is what I've already go, I've decided to go for anyway, and I'm not emphasizing the high notes, and now I'm getting the same little plunky tone that I got from the, um, that I got from the uh, bridge, special bridge pickup on the intros. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do less of the high side on the guitar and more on the bass side or in the middle. And uh, also, I'm rolled back, no tone, no treble, no bass. I'm on almost a little less than four on volume, and I'm in the special bridge, the 7.5K um, uh, uh, pickup by Lawler. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Wow, that sounds really amazing. Man. I may have to rethink the way I'm playing this just because it's like the sound is better than me. You know what I mean? So I gotta make this right. Okay, so let's just see what happens when I do one this one pass with this new setup that I hope K Mays approves of because I was all ready to do the middle pickup on this. That will happen. I just I don't know. I don't just, I think he'll he'll agree with me on this one. Uh, okay, so here we go. So once again, I went to I went to thirteen just so we've done one pass of it. Didn't feel like I attacked it that well, and it's a lot quieter in here. Let me make sure I've got enough hot signal. It's definitely got enough hot signal. It's the headphones that killed it and made it sound less uh, in my ears because I'm used to this amp. Let me turn down the drums just a tad. They were a little cooking now with this the way it is with the lesser output. Okay, undo, go back to 14 or so. 14, yeah.
Uh, let's play it back. I talked about doing that last time. That might be useful. Then you can hear what I've done. You can decide if it works. And we can decide if the little segues are working so that it sounds like one guitar player instead of like, oh, and here comes the overdub. I hate that. I want it to be, you know, seamless, like one, because <clears throat> it's live. Either I or Mark, or if this song ever gets played out live, you never know what songs will make it to the live show. Like, you can have the best song you think is amazing, and it has all this incredible stuff going on. It's your favorite one to listen to. And for whatever reason, it never works as a live tune. I have no idea why. I think a lot of it's like live, you need good energy, or like a song that has, I don't know, it's like all about vibe live. I don't know. It's weird. Certain songs just don't do as well live. Okay, let's see what happens here. I hope it works. Yeah, it's gonna work. think at home, I don't want to say guys because I don't know who's watching, but it seems like that, that segue worked, and I don't know what you think about the tone thing. I need to go home and work on this to uh, play the rest of it so my hand will hold up, and I'm going to really think about how I'm playing it, but I think I got the tone right. Like, I think that's good. All right, next time. Okay. I turned it up to four and a half. You heard what we heard back. I'm going to retract that one more time and just give it a little more ass, a little more juice. It just sounded a little, little polite. Now, I'm kind of going for, for clean, but never polite. You know what I mean? Okay. So, should be okay here. I'm going to quickly try to lay this down. I know these videos are getting long. Um, but you can at least, you know, see what the struggle is for a one-man band. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to 14. That's it. Hit play and then turn up the guitar. throws me off and I put these headphones back on. I know it sounds good. Okay. stopping. I only want to stop once. I keep stopping constantly, so I'm going to start that over.
have the scratch focal on, shouldn't I? Sorry about that. Okay, one more time. And I'm going to wrap it. Okay, so I hit stop. I think that's an okay take. Let me just make sure. Okay, I'll let you hear it and let you decide. I'm going to turn it off though because I think it's okay. And like I said, I always turn it off to avoid losing something. It's kind of like an insta save, you know? It's like hitting save every time you put a new thing on the document. Nowadays, I guess computers save automatically, but back in the day, you could lose everything if you forgot. Okay. Put this over here. We will roll it back to the beginning. Turn this baby on. And let's see what happens. I'll just kill my vocal. There's no need for that. You already know where everything goes, or you'll learn as I go along. <laughs> That's where it'll pick up. Uh, I'll leave where I left off right there. That will be the next entire verse, the next chorus, which is double that last chorus. It's a full chorus. And then it goes into a long, uh, you know, four times around the same time that the riff lasts. I've got to continue to keep the chords going, then continue the, the chords through the last verse and chorus, finally to the outro break. And it's a double chorus at the end. I did not think of that. So i got to work my hand up here. I'm going to have to play this song, you know, the rest of the night into tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, I should be able to nail it. And then what I'll do tomorrow night, it may not be tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, I should be able to make it tomorrow night. Uh, and then what I'm going to do also tomorrow night is try to put the little solo bit down. Let me see if I can remember that what that is. And I'll just show you real quick, but I, I bet I'm not going to remember what it is. I'll have to go home and listen to it on the uh, the recording I made. So it's like a, so you have the usual thing where it's like on top of that it's going to go. Um, top of these so it's like
doesn't, it sounds kind of nonsensical without the chords, you know, backing it up. Let me just do it one more time. It sounds like uh, Sanford and Son. Probably don't know that's, that show. It goes back a bit. sense. No, I think it's okay. And man, that pickup is nuts. That pickup with that guitar, I mean with that amp. Man, oh man, oh man. Whew. Next time.